What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and boy do I have an exciting video for you today. So about a month ago, we took a look at the iPhone 8's prototype, got an idea of what it would look like, but today I wanna to show you an even closer, more in-depth look at the iPhone 8, its colors, the 7S Plus, iPhone 7S even, and its cases, screen protectors, just a bunch of stuff a full month in advance before Apple announces them on stage. Honestly, can't wait to dig into all of this. I've been waiting for a very long time to make this video. So let's take a look at the iPhone 8 and the 7S models a full month in advance. All right, so in this package right here is the entire iPhone lineup Apple will be announcing in about a month and all of the colors. So I wanted to say a special thank you to Vinny Ageskin for providing these physical models. He usually does leaks and rumors. But let's go ahead and dig in. I've been waiting for this for way too long. All right, so one of these is the 7S Plus models and one is the iPhone 8. But again, this is not the official product. This is a model mock-up, whatever you wanna call it. It is a 1-1 though, so exactly what it's going to look like at this point in time. I mean, we're basically at mass production, so Apple cannot change their minds any longer. From what we've heard, confirmed by all these companies, this is the actual physical device. So I think I got the blush copper or blush gold right here. Ooh, there it is. So I hear a lot of complaints about the actual bezels not making much sense on uh, these models. But this is the first one I showed you about a month, month and uh, a week ago or so. And uh, we are pretty much the same here. Remove that. So there's obviously more detail in the camera lenses now as we get closer. These two are cameras here. These two are some sort of sensors. I'm betting infrared right there and the back so there it is that is the new blush gold color if you want to call it that it doesn't look like a blush gold it looks like a copper antique copper to me i like it this will honestly be my choice of color something unique something different from apple i love the fact that they're experimenting so much with colors not just giving us the standard black and white all the time so that's really cool so compared to the one i had a month ago the uh, camera lens itself is a little bit tidier. It doesn't stick out as much, definitely. That's a change that I'm liking. It looks bad in photos, it does. Here, it's definitely more subtle. I mean, yeah, it does stick out a little bit, but you're gonna get such incredible capabilities with this. 4K, 60 frames per second, uh, improved slow motion, the AR possibilities. Buttons are actually pressable on this, cool. So, um, wow, just putting it right here and seeing how usable it is, it feels very accessible. You're gonna be able to get to most of the area of the display in a smaller form factor compared to the 7 Plus. All right, so that's the copper color. Let's see what else we got here. All right, so here is the silver one. Also looking pretty dang good. I actually like this color. I like the silver underneath the glass, looks really good. And the front's also white bezels. So we heard the rumor that there wouldn't be white bezels, yet uh, here they are and uh, definitely doesn't flow that well, especially with an OLED, but I'm sure up here Apple can make it white to blend in with the status bar area, and the rest will look like a normal display. You won't have this weird cutout up here visible, really. This camera lens, again, looks pretty good. So there is the silver with chrome on the edges we heard so much about, stainless steel, apparently. And the last one is the black one. Let's take a look at that. This is going to be the cleanest of them all. Probably the hardest to get, honestly, just because people will want the organic LED display to blend with the bezels. And there it is. It looks incredible. It's a jet black in glass. That means it won't get scratched as badly. Got the button and ooh, you can't even tell where the screen ends basically with the black design. Looks incredible. I love that. So seamless, seamless integration here. You can hardly tell that the sensor bar is even there. And the antenna bands are very, very subtle. I love it. So compared to white bezel, definitely gonna be a favorite for many people. Accurate design though. I'm very surprised at how long we knew this design would be the one. To see it here, to hold it is incredible. It feels great. So that's the iPhone 8. I'll set these aside. Let's take a look at the 7S Plus and compare them to the actual device. All right, so I've got my 7 Plus here. This is a design I've grown to love, but how let's compare to the 7S Plus. As far as I know, uh, the only difference here is that the back will be made of glass. So this is the silver model. Ooh, that looks pretty dang good. I like that. I really love how it blends with the glass. 
and it does seem a little bit sleeker, but that could just be me. Now it's pretty much the same design here. So on the front, for the people that don't want a wraparound display, but more of the standard squared one, you'll certainly get that choice. I'm sure it will be faster as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Apple actually shared the processor across the line with the 7 Plus and iPhone 8. So exactly the same power button placement, everything else, look at the cameras, they are uh, the same, except for the fact that they don't have that slight bevel going up. They're just cut into the glass. They don't actually slope upwards as it's not metal. And uh, for structural reasons, to keep the back glass strong, they're gonna want to do that. So we've got the true tone flash there. So uh, same thing, definitely no headphone jack anywhere to be found. That is not coming back. Got that chrome border, very nice. This is the blush gold again on the iPhone 7 Plus. And as you can see, it does match the one on the iPhone 8. So this is, as uh, was predicted just a few days ago by Ming-Chi Ko, this will be the standard color across the line, the new one, and only to be shared by black and silver. So Apple is really simplifying the colors. This looks fantastic, wow. I actually really, really love this color. It's growing on me a lot. Definitely gonna be a favorite with a lot of people just because it's new, the novelty of it. But there is the blush gold. And this one, this is the color that will be replacing Jet Black. Man, it is actually just like Jet Black. The one negative of Jet Black was all of these scratches. This will fix because of the glass design, at least on the back. The border will still be made of metal. So same camera lens. It actually protrudes about the same there. Looks identical except for that glass back to allow wireless charging. On the front, same thing. Very, very sleek device. I actually really like it. And I also wanted to mention that the actual Apple logo is no longer machined. So it's just a vinyl, meaning that the glowing Apple logo will not be easy to do. You'll have to replace the entire housing in order to do it. I still wanna figure out, of course, how to do that later on, but man, that kind of sucks. That's a one drawback of it. Plus you'll have a whole nother back plate to break. You don't have to worry just about the front, the back too now. And lastly is the iPhone 7S. So not the plus model, just the standard 7S model. Model. And uh, again, this is going to be replacing jet black color. It looks just like the jet black iPhone 7 right now. Uh, this is the matte, but basically the glass separates right here at the very border. It's hard to tell. It slopes in perfectly. It's a very seamless glass back, so it's going to work very well. I like it. Next up, wanted to show you an existing, a little bit older iPhone 8 model and how the design evolved from that. All right, here is this one here. Ooh, it really put something heavy into it. So this one also did have the glass back, but check this out. It actually had a smart connector. So it's possible Apple was still working on that. Could be just a guess uh, by the designer of this, but it also does have a glass back. Not so much curved on the edges. It's completely flat here. Not much curve in there at all. Longer power button. But take a look at this. On the front, the bottom is curved in a similar fashion to the existing one I just showed you. But the top isn't. It's just completely flat up there where the sensor bar cutout usually sits. So that's very interesting. Several takes on this design. Uh, that could still be possible, I guess, but unlikely as the design has already been confirmed to go around. And here are the actual screen protectors for the iPhone 8. They actually detail all of these sensors, which I wanted to show you, it's very interesting. So take a look at that. The top one is where your existing proximity and ambient light sensor is going to sit. And then there's the infrared sensors, laser scanner, and of course your regular FaceTime camera. So that is the updated screen protector for the iPhone 8. Uh, these are actual iPhone 8 cases provided by YesGo. They're actually doing a really nice promo on their iPhone 7S cases or 7 cases and 7 Plus right now. So if you guys wanna check those out, I'll have a link down below in the description. Completely separate company, but somehow fits this design perfectly. There's also this blue one would look good on a black right here. Pretty cool, nice and machined, so that's yes go. And here is a completely clear one. Let's pop this silver one in there. I definitely am curious to see whether or not the wireless charging will work as efficiently through a case or if it'll need to be removed. Uh, but so there is that. Now I'm guessing the model itself is a little off because this camera cutout is leaning a little bit to the left here. And they also got this shockproof slim case line. So that's what that looks like for the iPhone 7. Also 
Leave a link for these down below in the description for the 7 and 7 Plus. Pretty dang tough and super cheap price-wise. They feel really solid. And lastly, the case from Pitaka. I'm actually really excited to see this one. I've been using this on my iPhone 7 Plus. This is the loaner case they sent me for a review uh, for a very long time. And look at this, this thing has held up pretty well. I've dropped it, it's made of Kevlar actual bulletproof uh, vest material and it's held up so well one of my favorite cases period for the iphone and uh, let's take a look at their newest version for the iphone 8. Ooh, a phone holder that's cool so this goes in your vent that's neat i like how that looks here's the actual case for the iphone 8. sweet so these guys these guys already are certain this is what the iphone is going to look like they've built cases for it Dang, I'm actually gonna save this and use this on my iPhone 8. So ridiculously tiny. Wow, feels amazing. Compatible with the magnetic mount. So this actually has a steel plate in here. That's crazy, that works so well. You just pop it on there. Let's pop one of these bad boys in there. Perfect fits right there. Uh, the camera lens even perfectly fits right in there. Super cool. Wow, I think that's gonna be a beautiful combo. So a Kevlar look on the copper tone and color. Otherwise guys, there it is. That is the latest just dump of everything. Cases, models of the iPhone 7S, 7S Plus, and iPhone 8. Cannot wait to actually get my hands on this, guys. One month to go, it's looking like an awesome release. Really excited to see the actual variant of this color, but this should be pretty dang close. So thanks for watching, there it is. Hope you enjoyed this. A bunch of stuff to share with you guys and I'll have even more uh, coming soon. Peace.